Now you can see that, I can just mix that. And what I'm going for is a shaded colour with a bit of white. Now, this is the, the really super bit. Here's my block. Press that in, and can you see what's happening on my roller? That's what I'm interested in. Then I want to put this onto the paper now. The, it's better to put it onto an area which is relatively flat. So if I go in here, but don't press too hard, because what I want is a sort of hint of the colour. Can you see there, the white is just working in there. Hi, uh, my name's Viv Arthur and uh, we are here as Art Van Gogh here at the Knitting and Stitching Show. This is Ruth, Ruth Hi. Isit, internationally renowned Ruth Isit, working with uh, colour for paper, for fabric, general sort of um, colour, texture, embellishment. So I've then formed a resist there that I've still got paper available here. So I can, what I can then do is take an ink, which I've got here, which is actually Procyon dye. Now the Procyon dye, if I had it, this on fabric, I could paint the dye onto there and it would be a, a dye. But I've also got it so I can use it as an ink. So I can then, what I can do on paper, I can do on fabric, which is a lovely way of working. So now, just thinking hard about the kind of colour I might want there. If I actually I've got a very acidy, limey yellow here, gorgeous colour, very fashionable. And you can see where it's going over the marker, it will repel. But also that if I want to just get a little hint of other colour in, and it's sort of that business of, ooh, look, you know, things are happening and it will run, I can let it run down or I can stop it, I can, you know, I can brush it with a dry brush. I've got a dry brush left. Is it very diluted? No, that's quite intense actually, um, because I, I like the intense colour and I'd rather start with a strong colour and then dilute it um, than starting with a weak colour. And that's how I get all these lovely colours in here. Uh, we've got Ruth here on the Art Van Gold stand uh, because she shows our products so beautifully. And we've been working together for about 18, Ooh, 18, 19, 18 years, years, something like that, and the whole thing is developed together. Um, we started off just about 20 years ago with the idea of taking creative art materials to anybody that was interested in surface embellishment. It was very largely textile artists, and it was a textile artist that really took to the things that we were bringing to them, and that could be the gels, the paints, the paint sticks, bronze powders, textures, texture gels, all sorts of things. And as that's grown and we've sort of worked together, the range that we carry has grown and grown and we've come to these shows so that we can come face to face with the public that we've got to know over the years. And uh, some of those people we've known for most of the years that we've been in business. We don't necessarily always look for new products. We look for interesting, exciting ways of putting those good base products together really understanding the, the materials that are available to you and just the, oh. the wealth, the limitless possibilities there are with really using the colours, using the textures, using the papers, understanding what it is that you're using. But I mean it's, it's interesting because if you go on then with things like the Markor, if we take, this is a grape colour and if we actually take a bit of this onto a dried paper, I mean I can take it in like that. I can use, I can rub it in like that to make a really rich dark colour. We know we can get the acrylic back because we can use a baby wipe, so that's very useful. I can extend it using a blender, which is Markle paint stick, just always open it up like that, push it up, do that, and you can ex push the colour up there, which is really good. Another thing that you can also do while you're working with this is obviously blend another colour to it but if you find a sharp object like a craft knife you can also distress your paper so that you can actually build in some surface. Then if I then take a colour over that, let's take a weak turquoise colour over it. 
get that go back into there. That's only quite pale, but quite fun. And you, you find, when you go down like that, it finds other areas of pattern which have disappeared, which is quite interesting. Uh, so come on down to the show here in Harrogate, the Knitting and Stitching Show. Uh, we're on stand TG620, that's Art Van Gogh on TG620. Um, the Knitting and Stitching Shows are always one of the most exciting and the most creative shows there are around, showing textiles in all its forms. I mean, I love doing the stitch, but the whole idea of the liquid colour is just, mm. you know, but I mean, just look how it's running. Mm. Just work it with your finger. And, and the other thing that I have also used on these are these water-soluble pencils, which are here. So even at the end of the day, if, if you, you know, you want to do some colouring in. Is that the same stirrent? Yeah, these are the ink tents. Aren't they? And did you know that when you when you put the colour in like that, if you then wet it, it will spread like all water soluble. I mean, not very clean now, but just look at that colour. And then, if you take another colour, like a blue, that red will hold its position.